Hey guys, it's Steel from SteelCSS.com here showing you everything you need to know about Counter-Strike to be part of the best. In this video, I want to detail the ways that a terrorist team can take control of ramp room. The first way is to come here aggressively with an op and go for a pick. The opper's main goal is to pick off anyone who's playing this close left wall and anyone behind the headshot box. Once he's cleared those angles, he's going to come and clear behind this big box, and then he's going to come and peek into CT Turnpike, and as well as clearing out yellow. Once the opper's cleared out all those angles, then it's safe for his teammates to come out with their rifles and clear the close left and right corners. Sometimes it's not this easy to take ramp control though. Sometimes the counter-terrorists are layering the map with smokes and it makes it difficult for the terrorists to actually execute a strat. If there's a smoke in turnpike, no opera is able to peek through it and actually get a kill. If the terrorists are stressed for time or want to execute through the smoke because they think that they're going to be against very low resistance, then they need to implement tactics to get through safely without being shot from one of the main areas. Main areas meaning headshot box and turnpike. To protect yourself from the turnpike, a smoke can be thrown off this back wall, which is going to explode right in front of the T turnpike. This is going to provide ample cover for you to get out and either curl left or right. Should you curl right and clear out the close corner, you will be protected from turnpike because if any counter terrorist wants to peek you, they have to peek out wide. As the counter terrorist peeks out wide to shoot you in this corner, your teammates who are curling left side are able to come and get a free kill on them as they're peeked out at a more exposed angle. The second smoke that's going to be thrown is a smoke that's going to be thrown close to headshot box. You can either throw one deep that's going to go behind the headshot box if you know they're playing there, or you can throw one by crouching and sitting still, which will land on the ramp. Both will provide you cover from any players who's playing behind the headshot box for you to execute through a smoke and push deep. Together the smokes will look like this. The counter terrorist team will not be able to see into you at all, while it lets you still navigate inside the turnpike and get yourselves out safely. The flashes that need to be thrown are going to clear, are going to blind anyone who's in the close corner, or the close wall, or behind the head drop box, or behind, or by turnpike, or by yellow. So anyone playing at this angle, or in turnpike, or behind head drop box, is going to get blind from these two flashes. The first flash is going to be thrown the exact same way that the smoke was thrown. It's just going to bounce out and pop right here. This is going to blind anyone who's at this close wall, and partial blind anyone in turnpike. This is going to allow the terrorists to come and curl close right and clear anyone who's close. The second flash is going to be lined up the exact same way as the smoke, except on the run, throw it deep. This is going to disable anyone playing in front of headshot box in this corner or on the rim. This is going to allow for the terrorists to actually get out of the turnpike uncontested. Altogether, the smokes and flashes will look something like this. This is part of a video series on how to take control of areas. This is DE Nuke, how to take control of it as a terrorist on ramp. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's going to be much more videos like this coming soon, so remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out SteelCSS.com for everything you need to know about Counter-Strike Source to be part of the best. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for tuning in.